our topic for today is hamstring muscles. Hamstring muscles is forming the posterior compartment of thigh. These muscles cross and act on hip as well as knee joint and are termed as biarticular muscles. To memorize the names of the hamstring muscles, the mnemonic is SSB, S for semimembranosus, S for semitendinosus, and B for bicep femoris. A portion of adductor magnus is sometimes considered a portion of hamstrings, but it is not a true hamstring. This is semitendinosus muscle, this is semimembranosus muscle, and this is the bicep femoris. They are forming the posterior compartment of thigh. Now the origin, they all originate from ischial tuberosity except short head of the bicep femoris that originate from linea aspera and later supracondylar ridge. As the name indicates, biceps, so it ha is having two heads, one is the longer head which is originating from the ischial tuberosity and another one is the short head which originates from the linea aspera and later supracondylar ridge. This image is showing all the three hamstring muscles, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and bicep femoris, originating from the ischial tuberosity. But the long head of the bicep femoris, it originates from the ischial tuberosity, and the short head, it originates from the linea aspera and the lateral supracondylar ridge. Now the insertion, semimembranosus, it inserts on medial tibial condyle, semitendinosus, it inserts on medial tibial shaft, and bicep femoris, it inserts on lateral side of the head of the fibula. The semitendinosus, it is inserting on the uh, medial tibial shaft, the larger bone is the tibia and the smaller one is the fibula, so it is inserting on the medial tibial shaft. The semipemranosus, it is inserting on the medial condyle of the tibia. This is the medial condyle of the tibia and this one is the lateral condyle. And the bicep femoris, it is inserting on the lateral side of the head of the fibula. The smaller one is bone is the fibula and this is the head of the fibula. So it is inserting on the lateral side of the head of the fibula. Here all the three muscles are shown originating from the ischial tuberosity and the linea aspera and their insertion, the semitendinosus and semimembranosus on the tibia, the medial tibial condyle and medial tibial shaft, while the bicep femoris on the lateral side of the head of the fibula. Now let us talk about the nerve supply of these muscles. All are supplied by sciatic nerve, especially by its main branch, that is tibial nerve, except short head of the bicep femoris, which is supplied by the common fibular nerve, which is also called common peroneal nerve. The common fibular or common peroneal nerve, as well as the tibial nerve, they both are the branches of the sciatic nerve. Functions, these muscles flexes knee joint and extends the thigh to the back side of the body. So as we said, they, uh, these muscles help in walking, running and other activities. As this person is running, the, his knee is flexed and the thigh is uh, moving at the back of the body. This is the posterior compartment of the thigh where hamstrings are present. So it is flexing the knee joint and uh, hip is extended. So hamstrings, these are flexor at hip knee joint and extensor at hip joint. Now one thing more which I forgot to tell you that is the semimembranosus and semimembranosus as these two muscles are inserting on the medial tibial shaft and medial tibial condyle so they are the medial rotators of leg as well. 
while the bicep femoris as it is inserting on the lateral head of the uh, lateral side of the head of the uh, fibula so it is the lateral rotator of leg as well see you with the next video till then take care and thanks for watching